The Montreal Canadiens second prospect game is now over. Unfortunately, it was another loss. But a player that's been a true standout so far during these prospect games is none other than Owen Bick. This guy is really putting on a show so far. So in this whole video, we're going to take a look at some of his highlights from last night's game. And, you know, just pump his tires a little bit. Because right now, he's the man. But first, let's start with the who, what, when, where, why. Owen Bick is an 18 year old centerman, he's from Port Hope, Ontario and he was drafted early into the second round by Kent Hughes and the Montreal Canadiens at this year's draft. His hockey DB photo looks like somebody dumped a bowl of Kraft Dinner over his head but his statistics are pretty impressive. Last season for the Mississauga Steelheads he put up 51 points in 68 games and this year I'm expecting these numbers to go up. Why? Because he's giving me good vibes, that's why. Bick seems like a man on a mission, he's been one of, if not, the most impressive prospect so far during these past couple of games, and the fans, they just love him. He's a beetle. Bick's a beetle. The French have been calling him, quote, spectacular. Look at some of these comments. Talk about a good first impression for this guy. So anyway, let's go right ahead and take a look at some of his highlights from last night's game. Here's a look at his goal that he scored. We got Riley Kidney doing some great stuff, turning the puck over, and bam. Beck gets a hold of it, and he goes to work and buries it. Not bad for a goal at a rookie game. He kind of goes flying through the air like Bobby Orr. Can we call him Becky Orr? Yes, we can. Here's another angle of this one. He gets the puck on his stick, and look at that. We got our very own. Becky Orr. What a beauty. Now aside from the goal, Bick just seemed to do everything right. He did all the little things. He was noticeable every time he was on the ice. He almost buried a couple of more shots last night. Have a look. See, he came close a couple of times. But another area this guy deserves some praise for is his defensive game. Okay, he was winning face-offs. He was back chicken. Here he is breaking up a dangerous looking New Jersey rush. And we've seen this from him now a few times. I mean, it's easy to praise a rookie for his offensive play, but when you got a guy that's back chicken and working hard to get back and help out the defenseman like that, I mean, that really goes a long way with increasing the value of this player. I've seen people already comparing this guy to Thomas Placanek and some other good centermen that played for the Habs over the years, and as much as I'd like to jump on board with the comparables, we've got to tamper our expectations a little bit, okay? We've got to tone it down a notch. It's only been a couple of games, he is going to go back to the OHL this year, but even I have to admit that due to what I've seen so far, I'm going to be keeping a close eye on all Bick throughout his season. He's definitely got my attention now. He seems like he's got all the tools, he's been working really hard, and I really hope that this is a player that can become a regular NHLer one day for the Canadians. Maybe a bottom six centerman, you know, one of these quality guys that you can trust to throw out onto the ice in any moment. Yeah, you know what I mean? So let me know in the comment section what you've thought of Beck's play so far. Now outside of Owen Beck, I mean, Mizar did play a pretty solid game last night as well. I thought Kidney Bean looked good. But overall, there was a lot of sloppy play from both ends. And uh, it got a little stale at some point. Now we also had another scrap in last night's game thanks to John Parker Jones. Man, this guy looks like friggin' Yao Ming out there. Six foot seven, and he throws a hit on Nimick at one point, knocks the helmet off of him, and you know that's gonna cause a fuss. So he had to answer the bell. It wasn't much of a fight, okay? He did lose his balance early on with those dandy long legs that he's got, but hey, it made him get noticed. What do you know? But anyway, guys, that does it for this one. Don't forget to chew the nostrils off of the like button on the way out of here. Leave me a comment down below to tell me who you thought were the standouts during last night's game. And hey, I'll see you next time.